Ralph, welcome to Southampton. First of all, just how does it feel and what are your emotions after taking over as, as manager? Yeah, I feel it was an absolutely right step in my career. It was a logical step after uh, leaving Germany and uh, my great dream was always uh, to work uh, in the Premier League. The first dream was uh, to play as a uh, to play in the Champions League, uh, but I think I wasn't good enough as a, as a, as a player. But uh, it's, it's it's fantastic that I, I did it now as a, as, a, as a manager. I would never believe this, um, but uh, now I'm I'm here and I, I'm looking very forward to 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 an interesting time with an interesting club in a, in a fantastic uh, division, where yeah I can learn a lot and and improve my English and. and Although when there will be arise a few a few laughs when I maybe find some different words uh, I, I want to, uh, but uh, I, I'm, it's a challenge for me every day to to develop my English. What attracted you to the club and in your discussions, you know, with the officials here? Why why did you feel that Southampton would be a good fit for you? I think that the philosophy they want to live here is 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 very comparing to mine. It's um, about playing uh, also with young guys and a very intensive way to play. I think that's what the people want to see here. And um, yeah, I know that in the moment uh, the club is not in this areas they want to be and in this in this uh, position they they, they want uh, their self to their self to see. So, but um, for me um, that means that uh, um, be clear with the situation we are in the moment and try to find the right solutions and the, the, the right plan to to work further. It, it's um, it's uh, for, for me in the moment uh, that uh, I see that we need to, a lot of stability yeah, because um, um, to go to go out from this area we are in the moment, from the zone, from the relegation zone, we. We need stability, uh, good work against the ball, good defensive uh, stability, and that's the, that's the core of our of our work. In the next in the next week, we don't have a lot of time until Christmas. Uh, we have less time to train, uh, a lot of games uh, over over Christmas, and um, we're against really not so bad teams uh, like like Arsenal or Chelsea or Man City. Yeah, and, and that's uh, the reason why we, we should use this time and fulfill it with, with, with a good work and good automatism training and, and, and uh, to create a few habits. We need positive habits to, to perform better. You touched on your philosophy. How do you like your teams to play and, and what sort of an approach do you like to use in ideal circumstances? And normally it's a very proactive uh, way to, to play. Um, who knows my teams before? You can see that uh, there are a lot of intensive runs and uh, a good work in, in a net where everyone knows what to do. And um, it depends on on hard uh, and lot runnings and and um, also on on mind work and on flexibility and and also of of, of being uh, very very quick in your decisions and. Um, that's what we try to improve in, in, in or what try to learn uh, during these training sessions we have. Yeah, I think fans who've, who've been reading about you and hearing about you have been, been excited about the pressing and counter-pressing tactics that, that you used, you know, particularly at Leipzig as well. Are those the sorts of things that, that you hope over time to really introduce here, here absolutely, at Southampton? Absolutely, that's the kind of football I want to see and pressing will, play, will take a, a big part of our work in the next, in the next weeks. Uh, but uh, it's not only about counter-pressing, it's about more. We have a lot of phases in, uh, in, 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 in our game and we try to focus on everyone. Uh, when we have the ball, when we play against the ball, when we lose it, when we win it. And uh, therefore we, we, we yeah, should focus on every, on every part of this game. But, uh, the, the main goal is not to overload them in the beginning because now we have uh, the next, next match two days uh, away from, the, from now. So we only have this afternoon with uh, the recovering people and, and uh, the few that didn't play yesterday. And tomorrow we, play, we, we train one time with, with the whole squad. And, and uh, so we, we, we 
it's not possible to overload them with, with impact. So we need a few details, a few main details that are very necessary now for, for Saturday. And afterwards, yeah, we will go on. And uh, it will be a long journey, a long turn we, we have. And uh, I think um, it, will intense, it will be an intensive one. But uh, when we make it good, also a very, uh, a very yeah, emotional and I think a, a way we can, we can enjoy. You had a chance to watch the team in person at, at Wembley last night. What are your first impressions of, of the squad and the club as a whole having started here today? Yeah, as a neutral visitor, you saw two teams uh, where you, you can feel there's a different uh, and, and uh, the level is okay. It was one of the top five uh, clubs in the Premier League. You saw that uh, they, it wasn't very, very difficult for them to beat us. So um, to be on one step with these teams, it would take a long, maybe uh, uh, it's, it's, it's nearly un, un, unmakeable for us, but uh, we should try to, to force them a little bit more. I think it's, it's, it was too easy to score against us. And so um, it's, the main goal in the future is to work better against the ball, to make it uh, teams like Tottenham not so easy to, to score against us. And when we do, the, when we do so, we, yeah, we can be more uncomfortable for them yeah, to play against. And uh, that's the goal in the moment. That's the first step we have to take and against Cardiff it's, it's maybe the main goal to, to work very hard uh, against the ball and try to, to, not, uh, to don't let, uh, give them anything. What can your players expect from you in, in terms of your methods with them and, and what you're going to ask from your squad? Uh, not too less I think I will ask from them. Um, they get from me a respectful uh, conversation and, and behavior then I try to, to create here an atmosphere where everything is prepared to work hard. Yeah? It's, it's, um, it's an intensive way they have to go with me and uh, I think I force a lot from them but uh, when they do they are welcome and they can follow us and the guys that don't um, will uh, feel it very quick that they fall behind and uh, then it would be difficult. Okay, normally the guys, they are now fit and, and possible to work with us. They have a little bit advantage again uh, to the players they count in a moment. So we try to give everyone the chance to come with us and, and, and uh, go on this, on this uh, turn. And, and I think uh, if they want to, um, they will, prof uh, they pre they will uh, develop this themselves. When the team develops, uh, each player will do so and uh, helps himself on, on, a, on a higher level. You mentioned atmosphere as well. What, what sort of an atmosphere do you like to create around the whole training ground and, and how important has that been for you in terms of the success you've had in your previous jobs? Yeah, maybe for, for one of the others, it's a little bit going out from this comfort zone we are in, in, in the moment, maybe in, and, and uh, it's uh, leaving them this zone, uh, trying to, to force something new. It's really something new for, for, for the guys, maybe. And, and um, um, yeah, discipline is, is, a, is a main part of, 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 of working together and uh, when you see how we want to play, it's very important that every, every player is part of this and uh, the discipline is on the pitch necessary, but also off the pitch. So, yeah, we have here fantastic uh, surroundings, we have a uh, fantastic uh, training pitch and uh, we have uh, the chance to, to work here as a team every day in perfect uh, surroundings. When I started trainer as a manager, it was simple. Uh, we never had these chances like we had it here now. And but for me, it's um, um, like in my last club, it was nearly the same. Uh, we tried to to put everything out of these possibilities we have here, and and uh, with a good atmosphere and a good uh, open-minded uh, view, uh, then um, you can we can earn a lot from 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 this time. I don't know how well aware you are of it, but there's been a very positive reaction from the Southampton fans to your appointment. How important are they to what you want to try and achieve it? And how important has that connection with supporters been at, at previous clubs as well? 
And every club I have been working until now, it was the most important thing for me because uh, I know that it is very important that they help us when it is going tough and when it is, uh, is a difficult situation. And um, I think the best example I think was yesterday during the match or in the end of the match, uh, you, you felt that the, the supporters uh, never stopped uh, yeah, helping them. On the pitch, and, and it's it's you felt that the relationship is is absolutely okay. I want to take them with us. Uh, that's what I, I always preferred to do in my in my uh, former uh, um, clubs uh, because um, the the kind or the the kind of football we want to play is to show them. Although we don't win, we did everything to do so. And uh, if they feel that, they apologize when it doesn't uh, happen that we win. And so they, they help us to, to, to develop. A develop uh, has, to, to get, uh, has to force on the pitch, but also outside. And when, when we as a club develop in every situation, also the fans, then I think something can grow here, which is remarkable and, um, yeah. Um, we enjoy a lot and uh, when they feel that this relationship fits, then both sides uh, um, prefer and then on both sides um, learn from each other or, or yeah. Um, clearly it's a, a difficult situation in, in the league at the moment and I know that's the immediate attention, but how excited are you about what you feel is achievable and possible here at Southampton over the long term? Yeah, it's, there are really two goals in the moment, or two targets. The first is the, the, the near future, and in the near future the only target has to be to stay in this division. It's tough enough. So um, that's the main goal in the moment. I do everything with uh, the first decisions to to get out of the zone where we are in the moment. Eh? Uh, but also there's a, a mid-time uh, um, target we have. It's it's uh, to develop uh, this club in in, in all directions. Um, what means scouting and and uh, these points. It's I think. Um, uh, they have a, a good uh, yeah, history in this, ki in this kind of, of working. Uh, so sold uh, very good players for a lot of money and, and um, that's, uh, the last I think was Van Dijk. And um, we should come another, uh, in, in this direction again. I think we left this direction a little bit and so we want to go back in, in this um, manner. And uh, for me, it's, it's a clear, it's a clear um, situation that I, that I should help to, to perform or to bring this club in this direction back again.